So this is a cool little beastie. Check it out. Chris Nash, President of the Australian Electric Vehicle Association here at the Royal Melbourne Showgrounds with Greg McGarvey, the head of Ace Electric Vehicles. Greg, this is the prototype. What can you tell us about it? I can tell you that it's a brilliant little car. It's 100% uh, composite and the technology is German technology uh, with a history of, it goes back 10 years and um, we're just very fortunate. Ace the EV Group of Australia has a partnership there. Germany and at Taiwan. We're very confident about the quality and the ongoing quality of the vehicle as it develops. This particular vehicle, prototype, was built in six days in a Brisbane workshop. Wow, okay, yeah, so very good. The beauty of this vehicle is it's not like your normal auto, we need a flash production line. Uh, our goal is with this vehicle to um, export it as a smart pack. Yep. That then goes into a, basically an air conditioned shed, gets built. We train the people how to do it, and so now we're dealing with countries overseas that want to set up their own pop-up auto industry, yep. and they can do it very, very cheap. Fantastic. And so this is designed as a, a little cargo vehicle. Yes. Um, so what sort of uses would you, obviously this one's done up as an Australia Post one. Well, so we're hoping it's a, going to get a lot, yeah, lot of uses yeah, there. Yeah, it's going to deliver <laughs> some mail. Um, but what, what other sort of uses, all the, all the Look, usual? In, any, anything you can think of, and probably the yep. best example is all the rubbish that went on during the election campaign about uh, that this would ruin the tradies weekend. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. will actually make their weekend because yep. they can boil their coffee, run yep. their tools off. So what sort of range would you get out of, out of this? This one with a small battery, yep. it's got a range of 200k. And 200k, And yep. that's more than enough. Most yep. people... Um, for the vehicle, probably fill up once or twice a week. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this thing, it fills up overnight, every night. Yeah. So you've got a full vehicle the next morning. You're yep. not hunting for a petrol station to find the best price for fuel. Yep. And you know how bad it is now. Oh, uh, 40 cents variation of fuel. Well, um, and obviously here in Melbourne, we had the uh, the 50 cent spike. Did you? Um, overnight, yeah, yeah, only a couple of weeks ago. So. And so you it's don't been get a that with terrible. this? Terrible. No, well, that's why they call it the EV green. <laughs> you plug it in. Take it in like your iPhone. And come out and you're very happy driving past the fuel station. So um, what about normal normal speeds? Yeah, this one, the computer on set for 60 or 85 top. Yep. Because it's really designed as a last minute urban delivery vehicle. Yep. We've got vehicles coming up that will be intercity. Yep. Uh, but our focus is last mile, last mile delivery because it's the cities that are suffering with air pollution. Yeah. It's the cities that are starting to suffer and couriers are starting to suffer where they're not allowed to take their vehicles because of diesel fumes. Yep. This thing you can drive into a supermarket. Yeah, absolutely. And what, what sort of weight does it take? It, this one, uh, pretty good. It's 500 kilo. Yep. The vehicle itself only weighs a thousand, so it's a good weight. Yep. Good weight to um, yep. good weight ratio. Yep, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Yep. To the advantage of this, it's not a vehicle really. It's an iPhone. Yep. It's got a big battery. Yep. So it's really an energy management system. It's a massive iPhone. I can't fit that in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're hoping it'll replace the iPhone actually yep. because the s communication systems that we'll be setting up in it, in our ecosystem. Yeah, you'll, it'll be your business on wheels. Fantastic. Very good. Well, congratulations, and we're hoping to see this out here um, shortly in full production. Hope so, so too. So, with yeah. this Australia Post delivery, maybe that's a clue of where it's going to be. <laughs> Hope so. Thanks, Thanks for being part of it. No Cheers. Great job.